Welcome to the next lecture on introduction to our software. Uh, you may kindly recall that in the last lecture we have understood what is R, why should we use R and how to install R and R studio software on our computer. So now we are ready with our uh, software. So the next aspect is that, uh, that once we start with R, we would like to take the help. For example, whenever we are writing a program and we want to do something, we do, could not know how to get it done. So we have to seek some help. So there are the different ways to get help in the R software. Some are inbuilt, which are internal help sources and some are external help sources uh, like as Google and so on. So we are going to discuss about here uh, that how to take uh, help for the R software and then there are some other aspects like as how to guess the demonstration of a particular syntax, how to get uh, examples on a particular syntax, how to use packages and libraries. So all these topics we are going to discuss in this uh, lecture. So now we try to learn how to start R and what are the different aspects. But before that, let me tell you how we are going to do. Uh, I have prepared some slides on which I will be giving you the details how to execute a program and side by side uh, I will try to demonstrate that uh, how to use a particular syntax or a particular command over the R. So I will be switching over different windows, one windows for the R software and say another window for our slides. So now you can see here on the desktop of your computer that there is going to be an icon of here R like this. So you need to double click on this icon, right. So let us try to do it here. So now I have uh, taken a screenshot of the R uh, GUI and uh, this is pasted over here and now let us try to see what is there in this window. If you try to read it here for the first uh, two paragraph, it is trying to give you the details about the R software. And in the last two paragraph, it is trying to give you different options. For example, how to get a citation here and how to obtain the demonstration of a particular function, how to get here a help and how to quit the R program and so on. So if you try to see, if you try to read it, you will get information about this. But uh, now after this, uh, once we have started the program over here, now our objective is uh, that how to obtain the help in the R. So first uh, of all what we can do, you can see in this window, so what you can do, you can just double click over here and if you try to see it here, we will get here something like this help and then you can see here that there are different types of thing and if you try to click over here, you will get here more things, right on the internet and then you can, for example, if you want to know about the feedback or what is R, you can just click over here and it will give you each and everything. So now uh, what I have done, I have just uh, copied and pasted this thing over on my slide and uh, just to give you here and here an idea, I am trying to explain you here. For example, you can see here there are some FAQs on R, FAQs on the R for Windows, some manuals in the PDF format, different types of here R function help for the in the HTML format on the internet and so on. So all these things are there and uh, so the first approach to take the help on any function is that you please try to go through the help menu and try to seek help. The next option is that uh, we can go to google.com and there are different resources which are available at uh, different sites including the support from the uh, website of the R software. So we can just uh, look into different types of example, different types of syntax and they will also try to extend their help to us. If you try to see here that suppose I want to take a help 
on some function say called as read dot table. Well, I am using here some new names like as function or read dot table, right. These things uh, should not uh, bother you because later on you are going to learn all these things, but my objective here is simply to show you that suppose you know that there is a command read dot table and so obtain the help on that function. So, suppose I want to obtain the uh, some help on the read dot uh, table function, what I have to do here, I simply have to write say question mark and after this I have to type here the function name. For example, here I have done here question mark followed by read dot table and we try to uh, type this read dot table on the command line. For example, I will simply try to copy and paste over here so that we save some time and I try to paste it over here and you can see here that this comes on an internet site automatically. And this is here the address of the site over here and then you can see here from here to here it is trying to give you the entire details about the function read dot table, right. I am simply scrolling it just to show you that these things are available that these things are available to you and I have taken here the screenshot of uh, this thing in the following slides. For example, here we are getting the same slide over here and then you can see here we get here the slide uh, like uh, this one here and uh, simply for example, if you try to see here it is trying to give you the complete format about the command read dot table and then how to read the comma separated file and so on. And you will see that there are different types of arguments which are given here that how to give here the file name, how to handle the header part, how to handle the separator part and so on. So, this gives you the most authentic help on say our software on the function read dot table. Well, I have taken one example to show you similarly as you proceed further and as soon as you are you are introduced to a new function, you can take the help uh, on this thing also. So, it gives you the complete exhaustive help. Next approach is that I can use here a function help dot search. So, the format of this command is the following that I will try to type help dot search and suppose I want to know about how to input the data, right. And suppose uh, I do not know that what are the different ways of data input and so on, but I have some vague idea that I want to input the data. So, in very simple language, I am trying to write down help dot search and inside the bracket with this double quotes, I am trying to write data input. So, now let us try to do it here, copy this command into our R, you see. Now, this is again going to the website of the R software and it is trying to give you here that there are two different ways to input the data. One is read.df and say and there is read.table and suppose if I want to know about the read.table, it will give me the, all the details over here, right. So, if you try to see here, I have taken here the screenshot of the first site and in the next slide, I have taken the, the screenshot of the second thing. So, here if you either you try to click over here, then you will get the details of the utility which is contained in read.dif that is trying to give you that how to input the data from a spreadsheet and similarly if you want to input the data there is another utility what is called as read dot table and it is trying to give you that how to input the data. And as soon as you try to click over any of the link you will get more details about the uh, these utilities that how to get the data, right. Another way is that uh, I can type here something like help and say and these two brackets or other approach is that I can write down here help dot start and inside this bracket and this will bring us to uh, the website of the R software. Let us try to do it here. So, suppose I try to 
कई फेयर हेल्प गॉट स्टार्ट यू कैन सी हेयर दैट दिस ब्रिंग्स अस टू दिस टाइप ऑफ साइट and here again we have different types of things so i have again taken a screenshot of uh, this site which is here and uh, now you can read it actually more uh, clearly that it is trying to give you an introduction to r and then how to write r extension uh, say import and export of the data and uh, there are many many things so you simply have to click over the link and then you have to read it and they will give you the complete idea about the software right one thing again i would like to uh, make it clear that this uh, course is uh, at an elementary level where my objective is to give you uh, some help so that you can start with the r software and in any programming language if you try to learn it more you have to do it yourself so this course is intending to help you to start with the r program and to understand the basic fundamentals right so you have to just uh, keep in these things in mind so now the next uh, approach uh, to get some help is to use two commands first is find and say another is a purpose right this function here find this tells us what is there inside the package for example if i say that there is a package which is called as lois l o w e w s lois right and suppose i want to know what is in this lois so now if i try to type this find lois inside the bracket and contain inside the double quotes you will see here what do i get right it is trying to give us the information that it is a package that is contained in statistics what is connoted here as a stats so again i have uh, taken the, the screenshot of uh, this thing and you can see here that uh, it is trying to give you the information that this this l o w e w s package is a package which is contained under the inside the package called stats stats right okay now there is another what we call as a purpose a purpose is a, a command that will show you that uh, what is where for example suppose i have some idea uh, of say some word say lm you will find that lm is a command for say linear models but anyway i have some brief idea that uh, there is some command which i remember that contains two letters lm so uh, so i will try to type here a purpose here like this and inside the bracket within the double quotes i will try to write down here lm and when i try to do so i get here a screenshot like this one well now you can have uh faith on me that these screenshots are exactly the replica what are we going to get when i try to execute these commands well just to uh, gain your confidence i will try to uh, to run this apropos lm here once again you can see here that it is trying to give us as this type of information and i have simply taken the screenshot over here and so that i can explain you it here more easily so you can see here that that i was trying to find out the two letters lm and you can see here it is lm is here right if you try to say lm is here say lm is here lm is here lm is here lm is here so in and there are so many functions in which uh, two letters lm are common so now from here you can choose that uh, which function you wanted to know right okay so now after this once you have some idea about the function you would like to know how to use it well their syntax and commands are given in the r help 
but definitely we would like to have some examples so that the things are more clear to us. This R software helps us and, and it provides us some example which are built in inside the software. So, if you want to know any example of any particular command or say function, you have to use the syntax here, say example. And suppose I want to have some example about the LM, what I have to do? I simply have to write here example and LM inside the brackets, right? And so, let us try to do it here and we will see here what do we get here. So, now you can see here that it is trying to give you here some examples and uh, so on. So, suppose now I try to copy and paste this LM over here. So, you can see here that it is trying to give us here uh, all the information about the LM. And uh, now, if I try to change the page here, I will get here more information. So, I have just copied and pasted all this information in my slide over here so that you can have a better idea. So, this is the first slide which uh, we have got here, right. And if you try to see here, it is trying to give you here all the details that is trying to take an example from this book and page number this, there is some data and on which they have uh, implemented the package LM and then they are trying to give all the details, right, okay. And then there are all some details over here, right. So, after this, uh, we got to try to see that uh, in case if I want to have a demonstration of a function, then how to get it done, right. So, in order to get a demonstration of a function, the, the syntax is demo. And inside the bracket, I have to uh, write down the name of the function on which I need a demonstration. So, uh, so uh, for example, here I am trying to uh, take a demonstration on the function PERSP. Actually, this PERSP is a function that creates the perspective plots, which are a three-dimensional surface plots, right. So, let us try to do it on the R directly and then after this I will try to show you that I have copied and pasted uh, the screenshots over here. So, now if I try to copy and paste over here demo persp, you can see here that it is trying to show you here something like this, this information and, uh, and after this it is trying to give you here something here more. Right. So, I have just copied and pasted this information and it will, uh, it will also give you here a plot here something like uh, this which I have made here like this over here and these are the details which, we are, which are available over there. So, you can see here uh, that it is trying to give you all the details. Similarly, if I want to have another function uh, to be demonstrated. So, I have to simply use here the demo and inside the bracket graphics and once you try to do it yourself, you will see that you will get here this type of a screen and that is containing here all possible details. And also it will try to give you here a graphic like this one which is uh, available over there. At this moment, it does not make much sense to go through with the details what are given on the slide, but my modest objective is to show you that how you can get a demonstration of a particular function which you want to use, right. The, the next thing is this, that if you are using R and if you want to quit from R, so how to quit? In order to quit, you simply have to write here Q and this, uh, this starting and closing brackets. So, if you try to see over here, I have given here a screenshot also. So, if you try to write Q and, the, and these two brackets, then you can easily quit the uh, R program also. The next aspect on which I would like to concentrate is the libraries in R. The first question comes, what is a library? So, if you try to see, in simple words, the literal meaning of the library is that a place where there is a collection of many books, right. So, simple, so, similarly, 
These libraries are also the collection of several types of commands to execute different types of tasks. And R provides many, many functions and out of it there are two types of function. One function which are built in inside the R software and say another type of uh, software which you can create. Beside those things, uh, uh, when you try to install the R software, you will see that there are uh, uh, several uh, options given. One option is to that when you are starting the R for the first time, then you are actually downloading the base software. So, in the base software, they have given most of the say this common commands which are useful for a common uh, user and beside that if you want to use any specialized function, then they have given the commands uh, for that for that specialized task inside a library. For example, in case if I want to fit a time series model, so there will be a library for the time series. Suppose, suppose if I want to uh, fit, a, fit a spatial data model, so there will be another library that is dealing with the spatial data. So in order to use those functions, we have to download the libraries separately and we need to install them then only I can execute those things. So, in case if you uh, want to use a library, you have to type the function here library and inside the bracket you have to uh, give the name of the library which you want to use. For example, if I want to do any statistical data analysis for say spatial, so I have to use here a library spatial say spatial and I will try to use here the command library say spatial and once I try to do it over here, this library will be uploaded and then I can use it. Some built in libraries which comes as a part of the base package in R, they are something like here one is MAWS and say another is MGCV. And please remember one thing, this is capital M, capital A and capital double S. This mass package, uh, actually this contains various type of data set and say other tools which are related to a book modern applied statistics using S plus which was written by Van Bills and Ripley. Actually that was a book uh, about the software S plus in which they have used different types of data set, different types of command and this library contains all those commands over here. Similarly, there is another library MGCV. So, this library contains about the uh, details about the generalized additive model. So, if you want to use some generalized additive models, then you have to first load this library and, and only after that you can use it. And in order to load a library, simply write library and inside the brackets the name of the library. Right. So, once you load a library, means obviously you would like to know what are the contents of that library because as such uh, you have no, no idea. So, I can use the help function to discover the contents of a library package. For example, earlier I had uh, uh, just installed the package, uh, say here, his spatial. Now, I want to know that what is there in this say spatial package and I need to know the help. So, I will try to write down here the library help equal to the package name. So, this is help equal to say spatial and once I try to, uh, uh, once I try to execute it, I will get here this type of screenshot. Right, I mean the package name is a spatial priority, this is good, this is the version. And after this, this will uh, give you all the details about this package. For example, here you can see that this is the screenshot of the library help equal to spatial. It is trying to give you here the about the package, priority, version, the date and it was incorporated in the R software and then suggestions and who has written it, who are the authors of this package and uh, simply here uh, that 
what type of things it is going to do and you can see here that there are different types of information about the details about the package see here is spatial. So, similarly if you want to know about any other package you can take this help also. Now, uh, before you try to use this uh, library or say packages, uh, we need to install them. There are some packages which comes as a part of the base package of R and there are certain packages which uh, need to be installed externally, right. And these packages have different types of qualities, they are used for different uh, uh, types of tasks. And, uh, the R package does not contain all these uh, packages. We have to, to download it from the website of the R software. So, here we try to learn here how we are going to do, right. So, first thing is this uh, that we have to do downloading of the software, but believe me this downloading is very simple. So, now if you want to install any package, first, first step is that run the R program and then use the command install dot packages and as soon as you say install dot packages, then the package we will be downloaded and it will be installed. So, let us try to take some example and we try to understand how these things are happening. For example, suppose I want to use here a package R meta. R meta is a software which is used in statistics for meta analysis of the data and this package does not come as a part of the base software, right. Similarly, there is another package called as agreement and this package uh, contains the statistical tool for measuring the agreement. This package also does not come as a part of the base software. So, we need to install these two software. One is R meta and another is agreement, right. So, now we have these two packages R meta and agreement that we want to install. So, now you can see this is pretty simple. You simply have to write down install dot packages and inside these two brackets you have to simply write R meta inside the double quotes and similarly if you want to install the package agreement then you have to simply type here install package and inside the bracket these two brackets you have to write down this agreement inside the double quotes and once I try to do it here then I get here a, a screenshot like this one. So, let us try to see and verify this screenshot first. For example, if I want to install here this package over here. So, now if I try to copy and paste this uh, command over here, you see I get here something like this and it is asking that from where you want to download. This package is uh, now available in Algeria, Australia and different countries. So, for example, if I say I want to download it from say India and I give here the name India here and then you can see here if this package is installed over here, right. Similarly, if I want to install here this another package say agreement, what I have to do here? I simply have to type here install dot packages and then you will see here that this package has been installed over here, right, okay. So, now I have given these things on my slides also. And you can see here that this is the same slide which we had obtained, right. And all these uh, packages they will be downloaded in a directory over there and this directory is given over here uh, where the packages have been downloaded. So, that is not a very big deal and this uh, process is automatic, right. So, you can see here that is the slide that we had got after installing the agreement package. This is trying to give you different types of information, the size of those packages and everything, right, okay. So, after this uh, we stop here and uh, we have seen in this lecture that whenever we want to execute a particular type of task, there are two options. The task can be completed using the packages which are 
contained inside the base package or they can be executed by using additional package. So, in case if I want to uh, use additional package that has to be downloaded from the website of the R software, but for that you need not to go to the website again and again, you simply need to have an internet connection and if you try to give the command install dot uh, packages, then it will automatically install the package into your software. But remember one thing that whenever you are going to use the package, you first need to upload it and all those aspects we will try to look into the, uh, look into in the next lectures. So, try to play with these commands, try to type it yourself in your uh, computer and try to see what do you get. The more you play with the software, you will get better acquainted and then we, and then you will enjoy the learning more in the forthcoming lectures. Till then, goodbye.